I know, I love it. I love it. Um, they behind you, they got my back. Um, I know I can go to war with them, so it's good. Team camaraderie, um, amazing. Music. It's nice to be able to have that so quickly. I mean, very quick. I mean, they work me with open arms here. Um, and, I mean, these guys work. You know, we come. I came in um, just by being a vet in the league for so long. Like, you know, you have, like, younger guys, you come in the room, being a veteran to kind of teach guys things like that. But coming here, everybody is a pro professional. Um, they had to work at the, everything. So we just all just jail because we all got one coming goal. I had asked Coach Leftwich a few minutes ago. I said, you know, with, with Tom's absence, you know, and then you have a couple days off here and there. Mm -hmm. How much were you guys able to gel? And he's like, those two guys are going to be wearing gold jackets. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it, it took them about all of three days to gel. Right. Like, where would you say your chemistry is at with Tom? Oh, it's, I mean, it's very, 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 very good. Um, I just feel like, you know, we communicate on each and every play, um, and Tom does a great job of that. Um, just looking out there, whether it's a signal or he some, see something that the defense is giving us. I mean, we can make adjustments, just whatever, whatever he want to do. And I also have to be on the same page with him to also understand the playbook and know what he's looking for um, from the defense and what he sees in the defense. I was going to say, on those option routes and things like that, you guys have to be seeing the game the exact same way. Otherwise, Absolutely. Otherwise, it, it could end in disaster. Were you guys able to get enough time together? Absolutely. I mean, it just, I mean, we can walk in the halls, just little things, just questions right before practice, things like that. Like, hey, how you see this route? How you see this? So on and so on. So as long as we're on the same page, um, I think we didn't put enough years in, enough playing time, and things like that, to go out there and make something happen. Julio, how invigorating is this for you to go out with this team? Another opening day. Mm -hmm. um, you're here, obviously, to win. Everybody is. Right, right. What does it feel like for you? Um, I feel great. You know, um, we got a, a great group of guys here. Um, the coaching staff, the whole organization. I just appreciate the opportunity, first of all, just being here and giving me the opportunity to be here. But um, it's good. We work every day. Um, you build team camaraderie. You build trust in one another. You know him, the, the guy next to you is going to do his job. And you're going to go out there and, and give him the same in return, right? So I think that in itself is just um, – I'm just grateful of just being able to have the opportunity to go back and give back to my brothers next to me. So, so much of your success and your struggles in the last two years have been about mm -hmm. just staying healthy. How, how much better do you feel physically right now? Um, night and day. Um, I feel amazing. Um, I don't have anything that's lingering, anything that's holding me back, anything that I'm unsure about. Um, I'm ready to go. So. How much, just your impressions of how Chris has progressed just in the time you've been here, what you've observed? Mm -hmm. um, Chris is just definitely a hard worker. Um, I think he can do whatever he want to do. Um, his work ethic, like I said, is amazing. Like, that's the biggest thing that I've picked up with Chris. Very intelligent player. But also, like I said, just the way he come in, the way he handles his business. Um, I'm not a doctor, so I don't do, you know, the time frames and different things like that. But what I will say is, Works his butt off. You mentioned that you feel really, really good right now. What mm -hmm. is key to preserving that over the course of a very long 17-game season? That's that's not season. long. That's not long at all. Um, I think the biggest thing is just being a pro and like, like I said, I just feel like as a whole, we all get the same. We get it. Like the organization. I mean, everybody gets it, right? We just let's get to Sunday. Let's do what we need to do. Um, and we have time throughout the day where we can just take care of ourselves and things like that. So, I mean, they've been doing a heck of a job um, with managing, you know, days on, days off, uh, practice, things like that. But getting enough rep um, to be game ready, to not be fatigued when the game come around or having jitters and not knowing what to do. Um, I'm confident enough to know what I, what I have going into a ball game, looks, things like that. So um, there's no pressure on my end. Leo, for you, playing with Tom Brady so far, what's it been like? You played with other quarterbacks. Right, right. This is the GOAT, right? Um, most definitely. Um, just, you know, this is the way he attacks the game each and every day, especially like practice. You know, each and every day, the way he attacks practice, um, meetings, um, very vocal. Um, and I love that because it's not like, okay, well, I want these guys to do this, but I'm not going to really say it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, he always over communicate about things and I think that's big because at the end of the day we all have to be on the same page. And like I said, he's he welcomes everything too as well. So like I said, if I have a question or anybody have a question about a route or whatever, how you want it ran and things like that, how how you see it, he takes that time out to walk you through it or go through it like, hey, okay, I want to look like this, can we do it like this, or so on and so on. I just feel like the communication side of it is 
is very big and is key to a lot of success. And he's, he's really like that too from what I hear like the night before games. I don't know if you've got a taste of that no, before that third preseason game. Um, nah, I, no, I haven't. I haven't. This, this is a real game coming up, so oh. we'll, we'll see. Like, I, I haven't got to that point yet, but who knows. He also says that he wants, like, because he was, he was saying on his podcast that offensive linemen, like, anytime something negative is said about them in the news, mm -hmm. he goes and tells them about it. He's like, yeah, those guys, I, I want them to take it to heart. And yeah. he says, like, these guys do take it to heart. Mm -hmm. Like, he mentions the word heart a lot. Like, right. can you sense that, that heart and that passion with this team? Obviously, you've been on other teams, so you right. have something to compare it to. All right. I mean, I can't speak on what, what Tom do, does with that, you know, in that situation for us, how he goes to the O-line and so on and so on. Wild Remember? for that. I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't speak on that side of it, but um, like I said, he's very passionate. I mean, especially where he's at, the high level he's playing with, right? He has to be taking accountability for himself, the way he takes care of, take care of himself to be able to come out here and throw the ball as well as he's throwing the ball and everything else. And I mean, day in and day out. I mean, he doesn't miss, so, I mean, it's a testament to what he's been doing for these years, these past years. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks, Rick.